and if you start it, it will go star delta, and this one will be running. If you switch on to this one, it will go star delta, and this one will be running. So if there's no power coming here, we want to see which where is the coil of these contactors. These contactors here, we see that the coils are on the same page. They are on this is on page on sheet number eight, section eight. This is on sheet number eight, section ten. And this is on sheet number eight, section. Like the this is a, the, when I say section, I mean the secret line, the secret line, the secret line eleven. <laughs> an industrial boiler it is a very uh, important machine and very uh, in, in many sectors so uh, this is the location reference it is written like this here in other play you know in other wiring diagram you could, could see a slash between the the sheet number this is the sheet number three is the sheet number s is the device the type of device is s for switch and then 25 is a is a secret line so this is the information that you need once you know what these three all these are uh, all these letter these are numbers what they mean the numbers and letters well, then you can be able to troubleshoot from any wiring diagram remember three is a is a secret sheet number not the not the pages but this, the diagram, the diagram number, the electrical diagram number has their number inside to tell you maybe to tell you this is Foglio three of four, uh, Foglio three of twenty, or Folio, Folio three of twenty is either in Sp in uh, Spanish, in f in French, or in 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 uh, Portuguese or in Italian or in English. In English, it should say shit. Sheet this so this is a, a switch uh switch switch online twenty five for sheet three that's what it is saying here that this is that this is a switch online twenty five of sheet three so this one for the information this this one anywhere you see the relay of uh when, anywhere you see the coil of a relay or or a contactor it tells you where you can find the contacts related to this relay. The pages where you can find the contact related to this. So it's telling you, yeah, this this con this uh, this coil has is associated to two normally open contact and one normally closed contact. And the normally open contact one can be found on on sheet two, line uh, on line line fifteen. Another one can be found on sheet three, line six. And, on, and the normally closed contact can find on sheet one, line seven. Here we have the uh, abbreviations for for cable color uh, color code of the cables. So when you see uh, GY is gray, when you see BK is B is is black, when you see BU is blue, BN is brown, GN is green, and uh, so on. RD is red. So here is uh here are the the letters that we used to represent the uh, devices switching devices and other devices in the electrical diagram uh, the most popular one is the Q the Q is a power power uh, devices fuses circuit breakers overloads uh, but for the control pr uh, protective devices we have the F F1 F2 uh, FU1 this is for the RCCB control uh, and control fuse and then we use um, H to maintain light lamps uh, to indicate lamps or pilot pilot lamps LEDs so see H, H here visuals and audible indicator the K is for contactors and relays and timers M is for motor we use M M1 M2 for motors so we're going to do uh, and uh, PLC equipment is on, will be N so if we go to, I'm going to show you a quick example of what we're going to troubleshoot now. So this is a boiler, an industrial boiler. Uh, and I think it's from Babcorp. I think Babcorp, Babcorp might be Italian. Yeah, I think it is Italian. So 
let's say we want to see uh, we're having problem to start the boiler these thermal fluid pumps are not running there are two thermal fluid pump pump uh, pump uh, a and pump b the thermal fluid pumps and each of them are that similar have similar characteristics of 22 kilowatts each and 30 38.1 amps so these two pumps are not meant to run together they're meant to to be switched by this selector so this pump selector is either in one in zero or in two so it's either running one or two when it's in zero it's off when it's in one it's in pump a when it's in two it's in pump b so we're not we're not we're not able to get any of them to run so we want to know why is it not uh, running so we'll, we'll look for further information so if we go down to the next page um, we'll try it. so here we have the thermal fluid pumps again but here we have more information this is a selector switch we are looking at and they are linked to these uh this is a connector Remember, X is what we use to to do the, the connectors. It represents the connectors. So these are in connectors. So we, see, we know that these cables are coming from connector. This connector X1, 1, 1, X1, 2, X1, 3. And then, or oh, further above, somewhere, if we trace it, we'll find that there are three contactors that are supposed to come in. And this contactor represents a star. And this is... Uh, uh, delta. So this is KM3. KM3 is star. KM2 is delta. And KM1 is the main contactor. So these three, these two motors, they run in star delta. So when you switch on to this one, and if you start it, it will go star delta, and this one will be running. If you switch on to this one, it will go star delta, and this one will be running. So if there's no power coming here, we want to see which where is the coil of these contactors these contactors here we see that the coils are on the same page they are on this is on page on sheet number eight section eight this is on sheet number eight section ten and this is on sheet number eight section that's the this is a, the when i say section i mean the secret line the secret line secret line 11. so if we go to if we go to this uh, sheet 8, we'll find more information about this KM1, KM2, and KM3. So, I'm currently, um, uh, this is uh, 3 of 21 now. But we are, con we, we are on page, on sheet 2 of 21, Foglio 2, the 21. So now we go to, the, to Foglio 8, 8 to find KM1. So if we go to 8, 8, so this is 8, we are Foglio 8 of 21. So if we look for 8 here, this is 8, here we'll find 8. And here, here and behold, here, lo and behold, this is KM1. So we know KM1 is here, this is, there is the main contactor. And uh, tells you it has its contact. It has three normally open contacts on, on Foglio 2, 4, which is where it's being used for that main contactor. So that's these three, uh, this is for the three normally open contact of the main contactor. So we look at Delta. This is it, KM2 is for Delta, which is which also tells you that it has three normally close contact on that same page too which is one that is used for delta, for that pump, for those pumps. We have another one here, which is a KM3. Tells you it has three normally open contact, again, there, which was used, and it has the normally closed contact somewhere else. And we have a timer here, which switches. It switches, it starts with, with star, and then it moves to delta. So when it's in star, the motor is running with star and main because once it's, it's here um, this contact this contact closes this is km3 closes and so long as this is this is a circuit breaker is up is closed this q2 remember is a circuit breaker q so once it's closed and 
then power can come here. And once you push start, wherever the start button is, if you push start, and this it will bring power here, which is here. If you select it, this is a pump starter. So you select it, and then this will go into star. Once it goes into uh, into star, then it will bring in the mains contactor here. Brings in by closing the KM3 contact, and after the timer, the time has expired. It is switched to delta, which is KM, uh, which is uh, KM2. And by then, this latch has closed. So this will drop out, the KM3 will drop out. But this latch has already closed. The KM1 latch has already, KM1 latch has already closed and it will keep it running. And see, look at the timer as well. Because this is when the timer is activated. When you, when this one, this one is latched in, the timer is activated. And this timer is, this, this is a, the actuator of this timer here. This, this timer here, this is the actuator. So, this is how we we kind of uh, troubleshoot. So if you want to see further information about uh, about this, for example, you want to know where this uh, um, if you want to know uh, if this is not coming in, you can check. You can put your multimeters here and here. Um, you can put your multimeter here. And see if voltage is coming because if you close here, 240 volts is supposed to come down here once, once the once this 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 switch is closed and and the circuit breaker is not open, you're supposed to have 240 volts here. So if you don't have 240 volts between here and here, if you put your multimeter between here and here, you should be able to have 240 volts. If you don't have it, then you narrow down, you check whether this relay is, whether the, this, the, the timer is okay. You know, you, you check whether the timer is doing what it should be doing. And also, you make sure that KM2 is not on, because if KM2 is, not, is on, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, uh, this is gonna remain open if KM2 is on. Okay, M2 is a delta, delta starter. You can never. This is uh, this is kind of. You can they can both they can both of them can never come in at the same time. That's the essence of this. So we know that this cable comes from this uh, neutral. It's coming from page page seven, section fifteen, and it's from here we see that it's going to page nine, section one. So if we go to page nine, section one, we'll see where this going continues. So the burner lockout here tells you that this relay, this is a K K twelve. This K twelve is a, a relay. So this tells you that this this um. And this uh, this this relay has contacts normally open contacts on on S12 on 12.7 S12.7 this is which is switch. Um, so let's go to 12.7 and see what we find in 12.7. Twelve seven and 14.11. So 12.7. So twelve seven and twelve seven we see the one lockout. So this is a twelve seven, this is a K twelve. So this is this indicates it shows you that light it's a light that comes on. When the burner is locked out, it gives you a red light here. To indicating that the burner is on lockout mode. So this is a PLC. Tells you also this one is coming from folio H6. So this is where you're gonna have to troubleshoot to find it. To 
find uh, low fluid circulation. No wider areas, no fluid circulation areas. Low fluid circulation input is going to come from here, which is on contactor K, uh, K07, which is on page 86. So here it is on page 8, line 6. So if you go to page 8, line 6, you're going to see K07. This is page 8, line 6. So we find the K07 lack of circulation here. So we troubleshoot from there. And this is a pressure switch. Is that? Yeah, this one. Now this is an input. This is an input to the to the um, an input to the uh, PLC. So it tells you this is an input to the PLC here. So well, um, I hope you enjoy that. This is this is a pressure switch. Pressure switch is running. It closes here. And uh, I hope you you able to learn something. And don't forget to support our channel. And uh, and I hope you enjoy this. If there's any other thing you want me to talk about, any ideas that you want me to talk about in the industrial maintenance and industrial uh, setting of electrical engineering, just put it on the comment on the the comment section and I'll try to get around to it and find time to do the video for you and do some explanations and uh, thank you for listening have a great day and bye bye